good afternoon students uh, before lecture we have seen what exactly kdd process is but we have seen this uh, title of that sub part right okay? so today we are focusing on the first topic is how the data pre processing will work okay so we'll start here what exactly pre processing okay. so uh, basically the data pre processing is a very big major task uh, in data mining processing or knowledge discovery process okay the so first one we are going to focus on these are the major part of this data cleaning data integration data reduction data transformation and data distribution okay but before that why we are uh, necessary to pre process the data it's very uh, important question so measures of data quality in which accuracy are very important that is whether the data is correct or not okay second one is completeness whether we want to access hold the data some of the records are missing or it is unavailable so we need to focus on that what is the consistency some modified but some data are not uh, given in. okay and uh, the next one is what timely uh, timeliness means uh, whether the data is uh, timely updated or not for example your result analysis so what what about your previous year result that is okay, let's say your credit will be 8 and 9 into cgpa like that but when we are uh, we have we are getting the ba result it should be an updated way so timeliness is also very important then believe validity means how trustable the data are correct or not okay Uh, how we are going to say that the data is correct or not so uh, what kind of interpretability how easily the data can be understood so these are the points are very important when we are talking about pre processing for so accuracy of data data completeness data consistency is very important that's why we are doing pre processing that data okay because huge amount of database are available and which kind of data we need to extract That's why we need to do the pre-processing. Okay. So the major task in data pre-processing is first one data cleaning. Then what is in the data cleaning is data cleaning is we need to find out some missing values. Some of the values are given, some of the given values are not given. Smooth noisy data. Some randomly errors are generated. How we are going to identify it? Then identify to remove outlier those who are not fitting in our database. So how will we are we uh, remove that data? and how to resolve inconsistency some of the time data is given some of the uh, retrieve and some of the time data is not retrieved so how are we going to do it we are we need to focus on that the first one is what the first major task of data pre processing the data pre processing is the first part or stage of kdd process and the data pre processing having first part that is data cleaning so today we are talking about data cleaning here okay so what exactly data cleaning so in in our mind what is how to clean that data right so data in the real world is dirty so how can you say like that it is dirty so sometimes the data is incorrect data some may be faulty data there can be some human or computer error some transition errors are there okay so what exactly incomplete data this terminology we should know okay first we talk about incomplete incomplete data means some lacking set of attributes lacking some values or some containing only aggregate data okay for example you is given that is occupation if i am maintaining the employee databases in fact i need to check each and every employee name employee id employee birth date employed occupation everything should be the full up when i want to retrieve the particular field of that employee database i should get full the data but here is some missing values are there that's why the data is incomplete complete means what all the fields should be full up okay this this kind of data is called as incomplete so we need to clean that data okay how we are going to clean it we'll see later but before we need to focus the data cleaning process the noise second data will be noisy noisy means sometime it gives a randomly error or incorrect data we can say that for example salary in uh, employee database some of the time salary is minus 
how we could say like that the minus twenty salary. In some noisy data are available, but some random errors are generated. Okay, so this is the concept of noisy. The next one is inconsistent. Inconsistency means containing the discrepancy in code or names. Means what? Inconsistency. How can we say that inconsistent? Means if it is the birth date, if it is a particular employee, or we are talking about student database, if it is the birth date of student is three seven. 2010 and what what is the age of that person in current scenario the age of uh, that person will be like that are uh, currently we are working 2020 so 10 years old but here age is given that is 42 there is a inconsistent data means like some of the values is wrong means it is inconsistent it's not visible to that database so this is inconsistent when we are rating 1 2 3 now rating a b c How can say like that when uh, if a particular movie we are talking about one movie is there there is a value uh, let's say I am talking about there there is four star is given five star is given it means the rate of that movie is increasing okay but when you are talking about A B C then likewise C is best grade or A is best yeah, best grade so like this we are thinking about it this is concept of inconsistency. Okay, and the discrepancy between duplication of records. This is again major task of inconsistency. Means some of the data will filling is wrong. Okay, and the intentionally. For example, in uh, discussing missing data, how it is said to put Jan one as everyone's birthday. It's not like that. It's an intentional. It means we are not saying like that. So every employee birth date will be Jan first. So this kind of data is available. So we need to clean it. Okay. So how it will clean it will say like that. So again, the data pre-processing is very big process in which we are going to focus each and every part. The KDD process also very huge process. KDD that is first process is pre-processing. Second is again there is a data cleaning data cleaning having incomplete noisy inconsistent intentional data the, again what kind of data we can say that is as a incomplete okay so we will focus on so data is not always available on um, for example always data is not uh, available for example many tuples have no recorded value for several attributes such as customer income and sales data Means it it's not like that every time they uh, the value have given or say uh, always we are filling that data. Okay, some of the time the data is missing or incomplete. Okay, so missing data may be due to equipment malfunctioning. Yes, exactly. There is some of uh, viruses regarding that equipment. At that time the data is uh, malfunction. The next one inconsistent with other recorded data and is deleted. Yes. Because some of the data is inconsistent, inconsistent. There is some error data, some missing values are given. At that time, what we are going to do? We have simply deleted the data. So next time, when I am going to retrieve the data, data is going to delete it. Means it's not available on my database. Means we are going to delete it. Okay. Data not entered due to misunderstanding. Exactly. When if I am accessing the particular em employee record and the If the employee name is wrong, then I'm not going to access that data. Means I'm just giving a misunderstanding that the particular employee has given the wrong data. So likewise, we are thinking means we are not accessing that data due to misunderstanding. Certain data may not be considered important at the time of entry. Exactly means if I want to talk, if I want to talk about your result analysis, I am totally focused on latest result. Not your first year even, because uh, when you are entering in final year, I need to concentrate on your third year even. So certain data may not be considered at the, at this time. Okay, and that's why the data is incomplete. Not register history or changes of the data. Yes, so this is a major concept. That is history is very important when we are talking about data mining and analysis purpose. So this. Major factor for incompletion of the data. Missing data may not be incomplete. Yes, so always remember that the incompletion or missing the data when the data is incomplete, we are not accessing it properly, and then when 
the pre-processing method is not done properly, then we cannot do the data mining process. Okay. That's why this problem is okay. Then these are the errors we have seen. How to, uh, how, what kind of errors or what kind of data is available? So how to handle this missing data? So handling that missing data, there are n number of different stages. So first of all is ignore the top -up. Okay, so usually done when class label is ignore the purpose how we are going to ignore that purpose missing data we are, how we are going to find it out so usually done when class level is missing when done classification not effectively when the percent of missing values per attributes varies considerably yes means how we are when the class level is not given means how what is meant by class level if i want to talk i want to talk particular employee record so employee name should be there then and then i can access all the data so ignore that happened. okay so then fill the missing values manually so is it feasible to do this work these are the possibilities dear students we are talking about how to handle that missing data is how to ignore can i ignore the tuple this is the first question second fill the missing value manually is it possible to fill the always hold the data manually it's not like that Okay, fill it automatically with how a global constraint, for example, unknown, unknown, a new class means uh, if particular database or particular record we are going to access in at that time, some of the values are given. Can we view the new class label there? Yes or not? So we need to check it out. Okay, in the next one, the attribute mean attribute mean for all samples belonging to the same class. <coughs> So we need to think about how to handle that missing data. The most probable value infer this such as this is okay. We'll see what exactly classification is done. But before that, we need to concentrate on how to handle missing the data. Okay. So what what do you think about the noisy data? So noisy means a random error or varying in a major activity if the random error is generated so how we are going to access it it's very important so what is the next point is incorrect attribute values may be due to faulty data collection instrument data entry problem data transition problem technology limitation inconsistency in naming convention other data problems which require data cleaning that is duplicate records incomplete data inconsistent data means these are the uh, noisy data we can say that so how we are going to do this how we are, we are going to tackle this we'll see so this kind of problems are arises so due to the noisy data is happen. okay so how to handle that noisy data for handling noisy data there are some methods that is binding method first regression clustering Combined computer and human inspection. Okay, so what exactly binding? Binding means first sort the data and partition into equal bins. Means first of all, we have to partition data. Part, we have to do the partition uh, partition from our data in equal uh, bins, and we need to find out the bean bindings, bean mimedium, and boundary. We, uh, I'm going to elaborate whole the part in using binding method. It's a separate method. We are going to concentrate that. So today we are focusing how we are going to handle the noisy data. These are the methods: regression, clustering, and all. Okay, we'll see one by one. What is data cleaning as a process? The data discrimination detection. These are the process for V1. Use metadata, for example, domain, range, dependency, distribution. Okay. So how are we going to do this? So data cleaning, how we are going to do? Before that, we have seen all the points, that is how to do the data cleaning, what, what kind of errors are generated, what is the data cleaning process, we'll see one by one. So today, we are focusing on how to handle noisy data. It's very important. Uh, these are the data cleaning process. We are elaborating one by one method later on. Okay. These are the data cleaning process we'll see. Dear students, thank you, thank you so much for this process. For listening.
participation. So thank you.